I used this hair. Um, the label says Al Rinse. I got eight packs of it. It is pre-stretch 30 inch hair and the color is a uh, number four. Pre-stretch ends look like this. And blunt ends look like this. It'll be all one length. We don't want this because it's going to add more time to the process. Go ahead and get you some pre-stretch hair and make it easy on yourself. This is about the thickness you'll get once the hair is braided. If you want smaller, use less hair. If you want bigger, use more hair. So I'm going to braid it up and show you how that looks. I braided it on my finger and this is the thickness that we have. I'm going to split it evenly into three pieces. I think three is great to start out as a beginner. So I'm going to show you three and as you go on you can do four, five, six, whatever you like. Now I place the hair on the braiding rack. You definitely want to get one of these unless you're going to have someone pass you the hair. You need this. It's going to make it a lot easier. I'm going to start off showing you on this wig because I feel like it'll be easier for me to explain. And when I tried to do it on myself, my hands were in the way, so just trust me. I have a separate video on parting where I went into more detail because that's really important. If you can get your parts right, the rest will be fine. Nobody will even notice that you didn't do it perfect because your parts look nice and clean. So I'm gonna comb that. And this is exactly what I did. I'm going to walk and talk you through the next braid. Don't worry. I just want to speed through this one so I can show how it's done when I'm actually paying attention to it and I'm not stopping to talk and you know. Also, I will list everything I use down below in the description box. For the second piece, I parted it. It's not perfect. I already put the jam. I'm going to use blonde hair so you can see what my hands are doing. If you use this much hair, your braids will be about that thick. So I'm going to try to keep the same thickness so I have three pieces of hair. And when they are combined, they are about that thick. Okay, so the thickness in your hand before it's braided is going to be the thickness once you add it. And if you had this little piece and you were making your braids this small, you could split this into three, six, however many you feel comfortable doing. But I'm going to do threes. And with the threes, the thickness starts pretty much immediately and then it starts to thin out. As much hair as you want to add, that's just totally up to you. And I'm going to show you how I add this hair in. It's going to look kind of funny because it's blonde hair, but it's only to demonstrate. So I'm holding it. I usually do my right hand, but I'm going to show you on my left. I'm holding it. And I'm going to put my thumb up. Close my other fingers, right? These two fingers need to be pulling this hair tight. If the hair is not being pulled tight when you add it in, it's going to be bumpy, not smooth. We don't want it. Or if it's easier to think of it like this, rest it on your thumb. Rest it on your thumb. Bring your pointer finger through. Add it in like that. Like I said, I use my right hand, so it's a little bit different for me, but same thing. These two fingers are through the hole, and the others are holding it tight. And as I separate, it gets thicker, I mean tighter. You also want to make sure that the ends are pretty even, so that when you add it in, everything flows. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna place this right here so I can still talk. We got our three sections. Okay. And we're just gonna start braiding. So I'm going left under the middle, right under the middle, and I'm gonna stop. 
I'm gonna take this hair, holding it nice and tight, nice and tight, and I'm gonna slip this hair between these two fingers. If you already know how to braid and you're holding your hair, it's just gonna feel right. You're gonna slip it between these two fingers. I like to add to the same side every time, so I'm gonna pick the right to add this hair. I'm gonna slip. And it's just slip right there. This is the hair, okay? There's nothing in the middle. There's nothing on the left. Now, I'm, this is one way to do it. You can take the, take a piece, slip it over to the middle. Make sure you pull them tight. Make sure the hair is flat. Get out the way. Make sure the hair is flat, tight. Continue to braid. Stop. Add into the right. Same thing. Get the hair. Make sure it's even. I'm gonna pull it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pull it. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna slip it. I'm holding it. This is the hair I just added in. You're gonna go over there. You're gonna come over here with these fingers in the middle. Make sure everything's nice and tight, straight. The hair is gonna be fuzzy. It's okay. I just wanna show you what it looks like. Then I go down. Almost immediately, I'll add the third piece in. I'm gonna go down just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing, how it's looking. That's how it's looking. Okay, that's how it's looking. So now I'm gonna add this last piece in. Pulling it, slipping it moving it and I'm working under my fingers the hair you add in should always be under it shouldn't be up here you want to make sure you keep that hair under pulling the, the tension is really important you do not want to mess up your tension okay now everything's in making sure it's straight some extra hair in there like I said it's not meant to be perfect I'm just trying to show you this hair right here got out a little bit but this is this is how it's looking okay so then you would just continue to go down my biggest struggle when I was learning how to do feeding braids was how much hair am I supposed to put in this braid how am I supposed to know that it's just like you were doing cornrows or box braids, you take the amount of hair that fits the section, whether you're going small, medium, large, or jumbo. You take the same amount of hair that you would use for a box braid or cornrow. You just split it up into smaller pieces so you can feed it in. In my case, I'm using three pieces. They're not super small, but three pieces. They're smaller than as if I was using one, and I feed them in at separate times. One thing about feed-in braids, or really any type of braids, you have to measure with your eyes. It's just like something you feel with your fingers and you measure with your eyes. I'm just trying to keep it simple and show you an easy way. Once you get this, the basics, once I can get you to, through the basics, the rest is up to you and you can do it however you please. And let me say this, I'm not saying this is the best way, I'm not saying this is the only way. I'm saying it's a great way for someone who's never done it before to learn. And then you can go and make it your own. Also, this is my first time doing feeding braids on my own hair. Um, it was very much so a struggle because I couldn't see my hair, but I tried to make the best of it and I'm happy with the way it turned out, but it is a lot easier when you can see what you're doing. But if you just sit down, put a good show on, I was watching, I don't know, some, some cake show on Netflix. It was really boring, but it got me through these braids. There's so many factors that can go into 
how the outcome of the braids or the hairstyle will look like the hair density the type of hair you are feeding in the size the partings so just start with the basics and then the rest will flow i know it sounds like what the rest will flow it's gonna flow okay you might not get it on the first try. It might take you five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Get you a mannequin like me. You can use a wig and just be patient and don't overthink it. Another thing that's important is making sure you keep the braid in the middle of the section. So that way it's not causing too much tension when you go to put your hair up. Me, I'm going to wear my hair up a lot because I just don't like my hair parted down the middle. It, I never liked it. So for me, it's up. So I need my braids to be kind of sturdy so they won't be pulling at my roots. I'm gonna do a smaller section, which means I'm not gonna have as much hair, but this is about the thickness we're gonna get. Adding it between these two fingers on the right side, underneath to the middle, holding it nice and tight. Same thing, adding to the right side, making sure it's even between the two fingers, nice and tight, we're going to lock it in. Make sure you don't drop any of that hair. I'm get my fingers back in place. I'm adding the last piece. Everything's even, holding nice and tight between the, the thumb and the pointer. I'm locking it in. So I decided to show me doing the knotless braids on the wig because it was a better visual. When I was doing it on my hair, my hands was in the way and it really wasn't much to see. Also, all of my braids are different. Honestly, this is my first time doing it by myself on my own hair and I can't see. I wasn't looking in the mirror. But I do think using those three pieces of braid in here that were all the same size was beneficial. Like it was so much easier quicker it actually took me less time to braid my hair than it did to part my hair I'm thinking you want me for me it's in my birthday yeah, cuz i got to say you're looking like a gift for me wrapped up nice and neat baby get in my way now don't be shy we'll be here dancing day and night get in my groove now don't be shy i like my hair when it starts to be like a week old and it's starting to get a little bit shabby when the parts are really defined and open it makes me feel bald it makes me feel naked i don't enjoy the feeling and also when my hair is older my edges will come out a little bit better so it just looks better to me you could be the part where it all begins you could be
In the description, I'll list the hair. I love this hair. Five stars across the board. Love that hair. I'll list that, the jam, the mousse, everything that I can will be in the description. So fast, baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe. And right away, I saw much time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the power. I did braid this hair all the way to the ends. It was 30 inches and I just braided it to the end and I didn't burn it, tie any knots, anything. Once I dipped it in the hot water, they were just sealed. I'm finishing up with mousse and this will set the hair in place. I went a little bit crazy with the mousse. I actually went back and did some more because I wanted it to be good to go. But I put my scarf on top and this is the scarf I usually use for my glue on my wig so it has glue all over but it's okay it's fine blow dry my hair but first i dip my ends i did that off camera i'm simulating is that the word yes i'm simulating me dipping my hair in the hot water because i have dipped my real hair before and i didn't want no problems so i took my time and did that in the kitchen and then i blow dried my hair to set that mousse and i actually went to sleep so that my hair could really really set overnight and that was it. I hope this video helps someone. If it does, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.